Prince William and Princess Catherine have opened up the hearts about the princess's recent health challenges and her inspiring journey to redefine the traditional notions of power and influence within the royal institution. The message, released through Kensington Palace, comes just months after Princess Catherine was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disorder that left her hospitalized for several weeks earlier this year. While the news initially sparked widespread concern among the public, the princess has since used this experience as a catalyst for a profound personal transformation. This has certainly been one of the most difficult periods of my life, the princess wrote. The fear, the uncertainty, and the pain have all taken a tremendous toll. But through this adversity, I've been granted an opportunity to see the world and my role within it through a new lens. Rather than retreating from the public eye, Catherine has emerged with a renewed sense of purpose and a deep commitment to using her platform to enact meaningful change. In her message, the princess emphasized that her recent illness has led her to reevaluate the traditional understanding of power and influence. For too long, we viewed power as something to be commanded, hoarded, and wielded over others, she said. But I believe true power lies not in domination, but in service. It is in our ability to uplift, to empower, and to create positive, lasting change in the lives of those around us. This shift in perspective is clearly evident in the princess's recent actions. In the months since her hospitalization, Catherine has spearheaded a series of initiatives aimed at strengthening the National Health Service, supporting caregivers, and amplifying the voices of those living with chronic illnesses. Catherine has always been deeply compassionate, but this experience has taken that compassion to a whole new level, said Royal Correspondent Emily Ashton. She's not just talking the talk, but walking the walk using her platform to amplify the stories and struggles of everyday people in a way that feels genuine and impactful. One of the princess's most notable efforts has been her work to establish a new national network of peer support groups for individuals living with autoimmune disorders. Drawing on her own experiences, Catherine has worked tirelessly to create safe, judgment-free spaces where those affected can connect, share their stories, and uplift one another. When I was first diagnosed, I felt so alone, so isolated, Catherine wrote. But through my journey, I've come to understand the immense power of community of coming together to support one another, to share our burdens, and to find strength in our shared experiences. The princess's commitment to this cause has not gone unnoticed. Thousands of individuals have reached out to express their gratitude, with many describing the support groups as a lifeline during their darkest moments. Princess Catherine has a way of making you feel seen and heard, said Samantha Wilkins, a member of one of the support groups. She doesn't just offer platitudes or empty promises, she's right there with us listening, empathizing, and working tirelessly to ensure that no one has to face these challenges alone. But Catherine's influence extends far beyond the realm of healthcare. In her message, the princess also addressed the broader societal shift she hopes to inspire, one that challenges the long-held beliefs about what it means to wield power and influence. For too long, we've equated power with dominance, with the ability to control and subjugate others, she said. But I believe that true power lies in our capacity for empathy, our willingness to uplift and empower those around us, and our commitment to the greater good. This ethos is reflected in the princess's approach to her royal duties, which have increasingly focused on collaborative, community-driven initiatives. Rather than dictating from on high, Catherine has made a concerted effort to elevate the voices of those she serves, working in partnership with local organizations and grassroots movements to identify and address the most pressing needs of her constituents. Catherine understands that lasting change doesn't happen in a vacuum, said royal historian Olivia Cummings. 
She's committed to building bridges, to fostering meaningful dialogue, and to empowering the people to be the architects of their own futures. This collaborative approach has resonated deeply with the public, who have embraced the princess as a symbol of a new, more inclusive vision of leadership. From her work to promote mental health awareness to her advocacy for sustainable, community-driven development, Catherine has consistently demonstrated a willingness to challenge the status quo and to put the needs of the people first. In a world that often feels so divided, so turbulent, Catherine's message of unity, empathy and service is a beacon of hope, said longtime royal fan Sarah Hutchinson. She's not just a member of the royal family, she's a true leader, inspiring all of us to redefine what it means to wield power and influence. Indeed, the princess's journey has already begun to ripple outward, inspiring a growing movement of individuals who are eager to follow in her footsteps. From grassroots activists to prominent public figures, people across the UK and beyond are rallying behind Catherine's vision, using their own platforms to amplify the message of compassionate, service-oriented leadership. This is not just about Catherine, or even the royal family, the princess wrote. This is about all of us about our collective responsibility to create a better, more equitable world for everyone. And I firmly believe that by embracing the true power of empathy, humility, and service, we can make that vision a reality. As the public continues to grapple with the profound social, economic, and political challenges of our time, the enduring relevance of the monarchy has often been called into question. But in the wake of Catherine's inspiring transformation, many are beginning to see the royal institution in a new light, not as a relic of the past, but as a powerful vehicle for positive change. Catherine's message resonates so deeply because it speaks to the essential human values that we all share, said royal commentator David Wallace. Compassion, community, and a deep commitment to the greater good these are the hallmarks of true leadership, and Catherine is showing us all what that can look like in practice. Indeed, as the princess concludes her message, she invites the public to join her on this journey of reimagining power and influence. This is not about me, or even the monarchy, she wrote. It's about all of us about our shared responsibility to create a world that works for everyone. And I believe that by standing together, by uplifting one another, and by putting service above all else, we can make that vision a reality. With these words, Catherine has once again captured the imagination of the nation, inspiring a profound sense of hope and possibility in the hearts of all who bear witness to her remarkable journey. And as the public eagerly awaits the next chapter in this royal renaissance, one thing remains clear, the true power of the monarchy lies not in its grandeur or its prestige, but in its ability to inspire us all to be the change we wish to see in the world. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.